YouTubers. I'm glad you're all here. I hope you're all enjoying your evening. Uh, recently, there was a 5.3 earthquake uh, that shook up Yellowstone. I got three monitors that um, I'm grabbing data from. This one here at the top is Soda Butte. The uh, next one down in the middle is from uh, Little West Thumb. And the one at the bottom is Mary Lake. And yeah, there is that earthquake as it came in. Looks like we got another one. And USGS is reporting another one. Um, these are caused by fracking. Going to Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. And let's zoom in. Yeah, you can see all the oil wells. Yep, see them all? Yep. Um, a couple days ago, let's see. There was a 4.1 right there. Um, that was on the 23rd of this month. Altogether in the last hour, probably, there's been four earthquakes in this location. We got a 4.9, which was uh, 5.8 miles in depth, um, followed by a 4.6. 6.2 miles in depth. All right, so we go there. I want to see the locations. Um, and there's the 5.3. That one was 6.2 miles in depth. And then more recently, a 4.3. Yeah, it's really rocking there. 65 people have so far said that they felt this earthquake. USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. We got Fort St. John's over here. Let's bring this out. Um, Edmonton. Uh, let's see, down by Calgary, almost to the border of Canada. Um, looks like the farthest one up north would be this one here, but it doesn't give the location. Let me show you the moment tensor ball. We got a thrust earthquake and then I found this paper. Let me show you. It shows all the known faults in that area. Oh yeah, let's bracket an area that is riddled with earthquake faults. And we'll come down and it talks about um, the hydrocarbon potential in the area. And fracking. Here's a report about the uh, most recent earthquake, the 4.3, that was sent into EMSC. Um, that was 142 kilometers west, which is about 88 miles west of where these earthquakes are happening. It says, metals clanking against the wall. Shelves rattled and snow fell from the roof. 19 reports sent in to EMSC about the 5.3. says here it shook for about 5 to 10 seconds and lasted longer with greater effort than the one an hour earlier. Um, 42 kilometers west. So that would be about 26 miles. Another one um, says fairly strong. Sharing with Peace River. Another one says the whole house shook. And I debated having two cover. That was 60 kilometers west, about 37 miles. That was Grimshaw. Um, another one says High Prairie, Canada. That was a gooder. Hearing things shaking and Christmas tree. I guess their Christmas tree was shaking. Large enough to shake clothing in the closets. Rattled windows and known books of shelves okay and that one was um grand prairie canada also all right fort john i felt my house shake thought someone hit my place not a lot of shaking just a quick jolt another one plates rattling in the hutch um felt in fort mcmurray everything was swaying around and shaking here we got uh, Fort McMurray too. Some items fell off shelves. Items slide around the room on hardwood flooring. Fish tank water sloshed over. Cabinet doors flew open. 
That was 333 kilometers east. 205 miles there in Fort McMurray. In Edmonton, it says, in a high rise, felt the building shaking. A heavy door that was open was also swaying from the building's movement. Lasted long enough for me to get concerned about my safety. So did you feel any of these earthquakes? Uh, yeah, they're growing in size. From that 4.1, which once again was on the 23rd. Today is November 29th. Uh, yeah. Um, put your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.